And as Women's History Month continues to close, we comes to a close. We like to recognize one last trailblazer in our community, Loran Osley. She is the longest serving woman from Leon County in both the Florida House and Senate and the first woman to serve as both an elected representative and a senator. Osley was influential in creating the whole child Leon. Leon, an initiative targeting critical issues affecting youth and their families in the community. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, my first question to you is what does it mean to be a trailblazer in this community? Well, it's such an honor and at the event that we had earlier in the month uh, is always one of my favorites because we have uh, some of the young women from the community that are there from the Pace Center for Girls and uh, just uh, there's so many amazing women that have come before me and it's just a great honor. Now you wore two hats. Walk us through exactly how you do that. Sometimes, you know, it becomes a burden, but for you, it just was, you know, smooth sailing. Well, I, this is my community. I've lived here all of my life and um, it's, it's, it's been a treasure and a privilege to, to serve and, um, you know, it's great. What do you think your biggest impact was on this community so far? Well, I, you know, I, I, um, I think about the, the work we've done with Whole Child Leon, which has um, really been focused on young children and their families, and really it was the, the precursor to the South City Foundation, uh, which is doing some great work in one little neighborhood where there's a thousand children and we're gonna make a big difference for those kids. So uh, that, that's the work that I continue to do. And, um, and I'm also pretty proud of being involved with, um, with the Cascades Park. Yeah. Whenever I, you know, I, I walk around Cascades Park and I see the diversity of people, um, you know, people with dogs, people with children, people of, of all walks of life enjoying this beautiful space. Um, I'm, I'm proud that I have a little piece of that too. Yeah. Well, we are actually on the heels of a tragedy and you work so well with children. What are you explaining to children because you're still talking to them till this day to help them get through this tough time? It, it's, um, it's really hard to even imagine. Um, you know, I, I remember the morning after Parkland uh, being in the Capitol and the days following Parkland when those students came um, and, and we actually made some progress in the state of Florida. And it's, um, it's really, it's heartbreaking that it takes these tragedies for us to have these conversations. But it, um, there's nothing more important than us um, coming together around these these issues that that are so vital for our communities and for our, for our families. Yeah. I see it just it's bringing the emotions out of you and me at the same time because it's definitely something that's at the forefront. But you know what do we do next? Even you know we're explaining your story. It's important to have women like you uh, stand up to speak about things like this. Thank you. Thank you. One last question to you, how can people help you achieve your next goal? Well, the South City Foundation is a big, is a big um, uh, has a soft spot in my heart, and we are doing a, an event to honor Al Lawson, who uh, brought us $2 million that's gonna help us kick off our early learning uh, center that's gonna be in South City. So we have an event on, on April 25th, so um, go to the southcityfoundation.org and learn more about that. And, um, and, and just, I think, making sure that everybody, we, work, we, we listen to each other, yes. we work together to, um, to support each other in these, in these important times. Yeah. Who's your biggest inspiration? Uh, you know, um, somebody I, has to walk you through this path, right? You know what, my mom yeah. um, is a pretty amazing woman. She was the, the founder of Red Hills Horse Trials. A lot of people don't know that. And, um, and she taught me to always put myself in other people's shoes and make sure that we are, um, and, and so that's been my inspiration and, um, and, and a lot of other folks as well. I'm sure that she is absolutely proud of you. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. For more information on how to learn more about these lovely trailblazers, you can head over to WTXL.TV.